I was watching that movie uh, about Jesus Christ where uh, just before he was crucified, he was telling his disciples, um, you know, not to worry that, if, you know, the world, those that love you in this world are from this world, but those that hate you in this world um, means that you don't belong to the world. It means that you belong to Christ. Because the devil has rule over this world. And uh, when people have hatred towards you or don't like you, it's going to be because you belong to Christ. And it's hard to believe. But a few years ago, um, my sister's daughter got mad at me because I was trying to help her daughter, which would have been my great niece or something like that. I, I don't know. They were obese, and uh, I was trying to get her to exercise. She got mad about it and kind of attacked me, you know. And she goes, you got to make people like you. I'm like, the only way people will like you here today is if you tell them what they want to hear and you do things that are of this world. And uh, what's going on in this world today will surely get you damned, you know. And uh, I'm sitting here watching all these people even, using, watching all these movies, you know, that they're watching, that they like and they find humor and laugh at. Um, all these movies are designed today to take you away from the Word of God. It, it feeds the flesh and not the spirit. Um, these are the times right now, man, more than ever, people should be, uh, you know, if you feel like you got, you, you could see what's going on and stuff like that, but yet you're still running back into the world. Um, these are the times where I would stop watching the, uh, Hollywood made movies and stuff like that. I watch, you know, I look at uh, YouTube clips that people are loading up, things that do with the Word of God. That's all I do all day. I don't watch anything else. <laughs> when I see these YouTube clips where people are loading up and discussing these politicians, I don't give any time to that either. Um, even if they say that they're, oh, we can prove that this guy's part of the Illuminati, I don't even give time to that because I already know. They're of the world, you know. Um, there's nobody. What's what's at hand today is the end. And uh, there's nothing in this world that I'm seeking. I'm only looking for the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that's the reason why I had that um, dream last night where everything was nailed to the cross. In other words, uh, there's nothing in this world that has me anymore doesn't have me. I mean, I, I, I gave up thinking, the stinking thinking dreams and stuff I had, I couldn't understand why I had them so much because I didn't think of that stuff. And, uh, now, <coughs> after watching that movie about, uh, where Jesus Christ was saying, um, don't worry because if this world hates you, it's because you're not of this world. And you got to remember, the devil's been cast down here for 6,000 years, something like that. Um, and he's he's in a lot of people, especially if they're in the world. Uh, they're today more so than ever, man. I've never seen such a falling away from the Word of God as I have um, since it came out of the government. You know, I'm going to say in the last two years was the greatest fall away that I've ever noticed. I've been noticing it since the Twin Towers went down. But I'm going to say probably two years, three years ago, is when I started noticing it really big. When they removed it out of our government, and then they started wanting to take it off of the uh, steps of the courthouse, the Ten Commandments. Um, it's just escalated. That's the fall away, falling away. Um, it's not going to be much longer, you know. Um, I guess that's the reason why I kind of walked away from everything. I'm living in my truck, you know. Um, and like I said, I've noticed in the last week or two, even when I go in some place to get a cup of coffee, man, people I've never met before in my life, they look at me and they look at me like they hate me. Well, I mean, maybe it's because of my hat, huh? My hat. 
I don't know. You know, I doubt it. It's probably, it's me. They can probably sense it in me. You know, Jesus said, you know, in the end days, that's what it's going to be like. They're going to be hunting down people that are Christians, especially the foolish ones, because they weren't uh, prepared for the coming of our Lord. And that's why I'm always stressing how important it is to be, to come out of the world right now, to come out of it. Well, and that means even uh, the Hollywood movies, man. I see these people standing at these vending machines, renting these movies. Um, I see a lot of people with their purple hair, red hair, strands and green. Um, just all kinds of it in their hair, you know. And when I see these YouTube pastors and I see their children on there with their green hair and stuff like that and like that. That's, that's no pastor I want to be listening to. I'm going to tell you right now, if he had, if he had any kind of uh, insight on the truth, you don't let your children follow the world, what everybody else is doing. I made a video about that. If you're doing what everybody else is doing, stop. You know, because that river I seen where everybody was going into the mountain, um, that's where everybody's following the same directions. It's soon going to be over. I don't think we got very much time, you know. I ain't claiming the day or the hour or nothing like that, but I know it's at hand. Like that vision I had at the fingertips. And then when I seen that vine, uh, and Jesus Christ said, I'm the vine. And those that, those that branches that aren't of my of me, of my vine, are cast into the fire. You know? And then when I seen that vine with all the fruit on it, it was all colorful, bright, ready for harvest. And that lake, there was nothing there. I know it was probably about two, three weeks ago I had that vision. But let me tell you something. Two, three weeks ago was barely a second to the Lord. You know what I mean? And it's at hand. It's going to happen any time. You know, the warnings I'm giving you right now, I don't think anybody said anything close to what I've said. I've heard a lot of people say, yeah, it's going to happen any time now, any time. But nobody said anything about the vine, the, what's there, the empty lake. These are, this is a dream that I had, a vision. Nobody said anything about the hand with the uh, light coming out of the fingertips. And you've heard that saying, it's at hand. You know, I believe it's going to happen any time. You know, and look at where this, when I didn't get that job in Oregon, before I left Oregon, I typed in my map quest and I said, California. I didn't pick any place out specifically in California. I just said, California. And where did it take me? 669 miles to Kings Canyon. To Kings Canyon. This is where I'm at. And uh, I'm still living in my truck, you know. I'm just telling you the name and the number, 669. Now, if you turn that upside down, 966 is the first three letters of my license. 966. And remember how I said everything's twisted and upside down today? If you listen to Jonathan uh, Flack, he even says that, that uh, Jesus says he's going to turn everything twisted upside down on its head. Peter, when he was crucified, he was crucified upside down. So everything he sees, you know... This is where the, it took me, you know? I mean, it's then it was full of tall palm trees. The signs are there, you know? I mean, it's all all around. You know, you just got to have patience. And most of all, believe. Remember what he told uh, Simon when it said, Unless I see the nails and the hole on the side, on the side where he was pierced, I will not believe. And then when he showed up, he said, Simon, you know, there's those that believe that haven't seen. Yet you've seen and now you believe. But he's always known from the beginning. And I've seen all the signs. Not only have I seen the signs, I've had the vision. So, and I've seen him in the clouds. Plus that picture I took of the rainbow and then I looked back at it later. Those faces that were in it, um, they're kind of hard to see. I got some prints of them. <coughs> They're kind of hard to see because when I folded up the paperwork, 
You might be able to see it. Uh -huh. See how you can see the nose a little bit with the eyes? That's the beard, the nose, the eyes, the mustache. You see there's another little face down there. You can see the chin and the mouth. But see this paper, the way that crease is, from being folded up. But you can clearly see it. The face there. That's the eyes, the nose. You know. I didn't see this until after I took a picture of that rainbow. The color moved right there to the cheek. You know. But uh, there's three faces there. There's another one right here. But like I said, it's right there where the nose is. It kind of messed it up. You know, I have better pictures of it on my on my phone. That's why I say I'd be happy to uh, send them to you. You know, all you got to do is email me, uh, and I'll send it email, or you can call me, and I'll uh, um, text it to you. I got it on my phone. Plus that pit other picture where the angel above my head. Uh, my email is M A R K now this is small capital letters nothing's large in it M A R K D as in David H as in Hardy nineteen sixty that's the year I was born at gmail dot com again M A R K D H 1960 at gmail.com or my phone number, area code 205. The number is 451 9110. You see, I've always said I've been noticing this since 9 11 of 2001. And look at those last three numbers 911, and then there's zero. I've always said the zero represents the devil. You know, he wanted to be up above God, and now he's going to be the lowest point you can be, which is going to be in hell. But uh, that's my phone number, 205-451-9110. That's my mobile cell phone number. I'd be more than happy to text you the photos or email them to you. Uh, they're real photos. There's nothing uh, fake about them. And uh, like I said, get ready. We're going to be leaving any time, you know. There's no doubt about it. I guarantee you, it's real close. My visions that I've seen, you know, I mean, that's what they said. I'm the vine. Anything that's attached to me didn't say, say that to me. I just seen the vine, and the lake was empty, like there's no more water there. So there's no more time. Um yeah, it was three weeks ago, and believe me, I'm ready to go right now. I've been ready for a long time. I'm tired of living in this truck. Um, but I've had some people help me to where it's made it more tolerable. I'm able to go down and take showers. Now, that's expensive, too, um, like $12 just to take a shower in a truck stop. That's ridiculous. But that's the way it is today. Um, you know, but we're at the end. We're getting ready to go. I'm tired of sleeping in this truck, too. It's not, you know, it's... It's not a big full-size truck, and there's not much room to sleep in it. Um, but it is what it is, you know. I had a choice, and I, t and I know I made the right choice, because uh, what's going to be in the kingdom of heaven is going to be far greater. And the thing is, Revelation 3 is what's at hand right now, where it says, You didn't deny my name. That's why I'm telling you, you guys going to work, when you hear people talking about these politicians, who, who do you think? Say, I think Jesus is coming. That's what I think. Don't deny his name, and you'll be going too. But those that are afraid to mention his name, you you know, you could risk being left behind. And uh, I wouldn't risk that. Don't risk it, because it's going to get ugly. And we're about to leave here right now. And all you got to do is just do what I'm saying, you know. Uh, I spoke up a long time ago, but that's the reason why... I got that angel blowing a trumpet above my head. You know what I mean? That's the reason why I got that. Because I spoke up a long time ago. And they, right when I got that photo, boy, it really got me going. 
I knew everything I was feeling was real, true. And, uh, and I'm waking up more and more every day, I feel like it. I feel like I'm waking up, you know? Like, it's strange. I can't explain it. I can't explain everything. But uh, I do know years ago when I was younger, I had a vision of being with the Lord. And he showed me in front of millions of people wearing white robes. I was trying to hide from him because I didn't want to be seen. Well, let me tell you, when the Lord says he's <laughs> when He's getting ready to show you, you're going. And there's no discussing it. And you're going to go faster than you can imagine. I mean, he pulled me out like a magnet, man. Like I was drawn to him like a magnet. You know, just like I'm being drawn to him right now, like a magnet. Uh, and I'm, every place I'm going, I'm going by my faith. You know, I didn't pick a location out here in California. But I figured coming over that pass, that overpass I came over, getting into Springfield and that not working out, I said, okay, where's the next direction? Keep going. You don't turn around and go back. You keep moving forward. And, and I said, California. And then it just so happened it popped out not, or 669 miles, which is opposite. If you twist it, that's the same uh, time. Or that's the same as my license number, twisted upside down. Jonathan Flack, that's what he says. Things are going to be twisted upside down. If you look at that uh, on the back of your shirt where it says 100% nylon, if you turn it upside down, twist it over and look at it, it's 100% no lying. In other words, you got to be truthful. You can't lie or nothing. 100%. You can't slightly steal nothing, take nothing. You can't justify nothing in your head. Nothing. You know, it's just the way it is. That's why I was stressing. Are you doing what other people are doing? Is it, you know, because they say that's what everybody else is doing? Just do it. Don't do it. I'm telling you, walk away from it now. Don't deny his name. Nothing. We're getting ready to go. Read Revelations 3, man. Read it for yourself. You don't, you know, you don't have to hear it come out of me. Read it, and it'll tell you. I'll keep you from the moment of trial that's coming upon the whole earth. That's why I showed you that on that film about that Sherwin Williams logo, the red paint going over the whole earth. Remember, man, people that got their heart's desires, they're putting the signs right in front of your face. It's just a lot of people going, nah, that can't be. I don't believe it. Well, believe it. You know, that's the reason why these people got number one businesses. That's why the reason why these people got all the money and all the business. And that's the reason why I'm living in my truck today. Because I didn't make people like me. Jesus said, uh, if people don't like you here, it's because you're not of this earth. And my mom told me when she brought me home from the hospital, she seen an angel standing over my crib uh, right the first night she brought me home. And she always said, I think there's something special about you, Mark. You know, and every mother thinks that about their child, you know. And that's just what I thought, too, you know. I thought maybe she had a dream or something. And it wasn't true, but it, it was true, you know. She passed away in 2014 when I got that photo. And I am so grateful that she is not here today to uh, see what's happening, you know, to see this. I'm grateful she's not, um, it's because it's a wicked world. It's very wicked, and it's, gonna, and it's just getting worse. But we don't want to be here, because once we leave, I'm telling you, hell on earth is going to begin. There won't be no peace here. You won't even be able to call out. They said the foolish brides are going to go, Lord, Lord. You know, let us in, let us in. Uh-uh. Well, he's not going to. You're going to have to become tribulation uh, saints after that. And the only way you can be tribulation saints is to not deny his name. You know, and you'll probably have to die. You know, or you'll have to survive somehow without getting the mark of the beast. You know, it's going to be difficult. You know, I'm not, I'm not lying to you. I'm just telling you straight up. Just be ready and... Uh, you know, don't deny his name. We're getting ready to leave any time, you know. I've been following this path for a long time, and we're closer than we've ever been. Remember, there's power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's going to get you out of here, okay? Those that are denying it, they ain't going to know the power of it. Be with the Holy Spirit. God bless you.